Zina Rabadi is teaching a collage masterclass. The Iranian is one of 307 artists who've flown in from around the world to participate in Qatar's biggest art festival. It's one of several ambitious cultural projects planned in the lead up to the FIFA World Cup in November. This festival is creating a very big platform for most of the artists because this time we have not only artists, we have collectors, historians, designers. Every piece, whatever he creates, is very unique. Because this is the latest series by Georgie Yuves. The renowned Russian artist pioneered a painting technique using ultraviolet reactive pigment, giving it a varied look in both light and dark. Each layered oil on canvas takes up to four years to dry and may soon feature in one of Qatar's museums. It's really exciting to be in Qatar uh, because I feel that this uh, project, Genesis, about the origin of different forms of life can be interesting um, and for the people from every country and also from Qatar too. The Gulf country is keen to leave an impression on World Cup visitors that goes beyond football. Aiming to become a cultural hub with global reach, it's spent years collaborating both home and away, just last week with New York's Metropolitan Museum of Art. The art world in the Middle East is an emerging market that's increasingly becoming attractive to international artists and investors. In fact, some of the artists here from Latin America, Europe and Asia have been saying it's the first time they showcase their work, not just in Qatar, but also in the region. Art activist Micaiah Brown is visiting from Miami, where the next World Cup is being held in 2026. She's keen to work with locals on understanding non-fungible tokens or NFTs. Those are unique digital artworks that are part of a blockchain and can't be duplicated. I feel that coming here and showcasing that and helping to, you know, go about building that here, it is a great opportunity because it'll bring other artists from other places and the market is not so saturated in one country. It's all over. But of course, we're here in the Middle East. It's beautiful, you know? And I feel that uh, Qatar is a great place, a great opportunity to do that. Qatar has been one of the world's largest art buyers in the last decade, having spent billions of dollars. Public spaces are being used to showcase some of its most expensive global purchases by the likes of Damien Hirst. And with more than 40 newly commissioned installations, urban landscapes across the country are being turned into vast outdoor art galleries. Sarah Khairat, Al Jazeera, Doha.